to my some people's kids segment. Yes. So, Hoppa! I didn't sing my fucking song. Listen, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I get you have your NFL kickoff today, but don't get ahead of yourself, all right? Relax. Some people's kids, some people's kids. Look what you did, you raised a piece of shit. Some people's kids, you raised a piece of shit. And now look what you did. Game song still pending. Um, <laughs> this I'm pending out. too. Oh, just in case we get sued. I guess. Unless I want to try to buy the yeah. buy the song, then you know we'll gladly sell. Oh, also before that, we're on video this week. <laughs> yeah. I totally forgot about that. You can see us. God, man, yeah, oh, man. If you're listening to this, um, check our video because yeah. you know. Last week I fucked up. Oh, it had up. So. But we had an episode. It was a decent one. And also, uh, our clips page is up, and we have videos on there as well. So, thank you. Uh, thank you for anyone who watched our clips. Yeah. I feel like some of them are actually doing pretty well. Like, uh, you know, I guess yeah. I looked up, and uh, I'm like, 2,000 views on a clip. I'm like, okay, look at you. Carlos, man. It must be because they think you're sexy. We uh, need I, you to I start an Oli Van so we can really boost up our views. Ryan's OnlyFans coming soon to a screen <laughs> and near you. All right, we'll talk hey, about it later. We'll it's put... like he has a choice in the matter. Look at him. It's for the blank. Just say Check the out blank the... presents Ryan on OnlyFans. Check out the poll. Yeah, we'll yeah. We'll, we'll we'll do a poll at the end of the episode. Do this. Ask you know the poll is simple. Would you want to see Ryan on OnlyFans? You're gonna get a unan. I highly <laughs> doubt you'll get a no. Highly <laughs> doubt it. Very unanimous. I mean, plus, you know our friends. Everyone's going to be giving me a no. Um, <laughs> okay, enough about OnlyFans. Yeah. Let's look at this. Yeah, you'll you'll start to jump into anyway. the segment. Yeah. Because this is our second segment. Yes. Some people's kids. Some people's kids. And today, this goes out to the dumbass in Brampton <laughs> who drove into the house. I get it. Accidents happen. Okay, so he, he got he. I don't know if he was drunk. What happened? Like, give me this the story. Give the the scoop was okay. lovely Brampton night in a Brampton evening. Brampton Everything's weather. going fine. Everyone's living in this Brampton home, having a Brampton night. You know, typical Brampton typical Brampton, Brampton night. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. And then all of a sudden, they hear a boom. That like uh, that was from the parents' bedroom. Oh, oh, goddamn, goddamn! Brampton. But then after the parents were done with their Brampton sex, they hear another boom. Like damn, baby, I only did that one time, and he's like, "That wasn't me. I was outside." Like what? And they go out, and the neighbors are all outside witnessing their house, and what do they see? A car has driven right through their garage door and hit the the family's car as well. Wow. That's and funny. where's the driver of said car? Nowhere to be seen. He ran. He fled on foot. Do they know it's a he? Yeah. Well, based on the camera that's on the phone. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they had a camera. They had a camera. And uh, they witnessed the video. The family witnessed the video. And homeboy got out through the window of his car and just ran on foot. Wow, that is crazy. Here's the deal. I work in car insurance, he does. so this triggers me a little bit. So bear with me if I lose my cool. Okay, folks? Now, it's one thing to drive into the family's home. It was a dumb mistake. I get it. You were drunk or not, or you're a horrible driver. Either or. You gotta own up to your mistake, but you made things worse for you. Oh yeah, you fled the scene. Now, me working in claims, I will tell you the procedure. You flew into, you drove into the home and the car. We can make a claim for you. All right, we'll open up the claim. We'll cover you. All right, we'll cover you. The we'll cover you for the damage to your car, your insurance, subrogates for the damage. Basically, they ask you. For, ask us your insurance for the money and we'll pay it off for you 
Sure, your premiums go up. But hey, accidents happen. But you know what you did to make it worse? You fled the scene. So now, not only is your your claim not going to be covered now, it's a criminal offense! Yes. Buddy! It's a criminal offense. But you know what? I'm not even that mad at you anymore. Because now you made it easier for your insurance company to not take the claim. <laughs> Now there's no struggle. There's no need to open up a claim to get all the fucking money to pay for your shit, to pay for their shit. And then I don't have to make the fucking effort to move the goddamn vehicle from that damn place all the way to the tow yard. But I'm calm. Because now you made it easier for me to tell you, thank you for calling. How can I help you? Oh, hey, I drove into the house and fled the scene. Oh, good. Fuck off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that's the call. And that's it. And to that, to you, sir, who is currently on this, you know, you know, on the run. Number one, <laughs> and my thing is, <laughs> you, <laughs> your, your, your license plate is on the car. The VIN number is on the car. But they got you on video describing you, <laughs> and 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 you think running away was smart. The police will get you, one hundred percent. And if not you, your family, your friends, you will get caught. Not smart. Not smart. And to the kid out there that ruined that Brampton Smackdown that the family was doing in their bedroom, to that I say, some people's kids. Beautiful. Shame on you. Your parents should have taught you better. Shame on you. That's all I got to say on that. We definitely need an update when 